Georgia! The new immigration law that took effect July 1st has prompted protest in Florida. We are people too. We are all people. We are not illegal. The state's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis, signed the bill in May, just weeks before he announced his run for president. It's easier to come to this country illegally than it is legally. The law bans local governments from issuing ID cards to people who cannot prove citizenship. It requires hospitals that accept Medicaid funds to ask about a patient's citizenship status. It also increases penalties for people who hire or transport undocumented immigrants. And it expands the use of E-Verify, a federal database employers can use to check a worker's immigration status. We recently asked the governor what he would tell desperate immigrants fleeing violence in their home countries. Governor, wouldn't you do what you could to protect your family? Once Biden became president, he basically said, come, and so they're coming. And so in that sense, you know, I do have sympathy uh, for the predicament that they found him in because I think they've been sold a bill of goods. At the other, at the other, on the other hand, you know, we just have to have a rule of law in this country. South of Miami in these agricultural fields, Yvette Cruz with the Farm Workers Association of America says some migrant workers have already left the state. There would be people who support Governor DeSantis would say that's a good thing. They would say that. I'd just say, i tell them, okay, let's wait and see who's going to do the work that no one else is doing. We spoke with Lesby, who says she's undocumented and asked us not to show her face because she thinks the new law might make it easier for her to be deported. You're going to stay. Te vas a quedar? Si. Okay, why? She tells me she plans to stay for now because this is her home, but that she and other immigrants like her now live in fear.